All right, I'm the Flight Rate Master, and today we're talking about do we really need tool trucks anymore? You know, of course, love going on the tool truck, lots of fun, cool stuff, but do we really even need them anymore? Back when I first started wrenching, options were much more limited. You know, for instance, other than the tool trucks, you had Craftsman, you had SK, if you could find a retailer that sold it, there was cheap Chinese, you know, like Evercraft and really cheap Taiwanese stuff. And I mean cheap, I mean, you know, junk. And then you started having a little bit of stuff come in from like Husky and, you know, that kind of stuff. Some of those brands were starting to come about, but you did not have the choice you have, well, nowadays. Now I've done videos on tool truck alternatives. I've done videos on options that are not on the tool truck, but today we're gonna just talk about all the options out there that y'all have now that I didn't have when I started out. Now I've got a ton of tools, we know that. Nowadays, a lot of the tools that I bought from Snap-on, Mac, etc. There's so many better options out there as far as price versus quality. What I mean by that is, yeah, Snap-on's wrenches are great, but for a tenth the price, you can get to 90% of the quality at least. I did a video a while ago testing wrenches and well, other than the SK, which literally broke, it was the only one that broke, most of them performed fairly well and including, you know, up to the quality of a used Snap-on. That was one mistake I definitely made. I used a used Snap-on instead of buying a brand new one. It didn't get that much views. I spent a lot of money on that video and well, I'm not redoing it. Just for example, I've got Milwaukee stuff here, but there's plenty of other options out there. Let's talk wrenches. This is a Milwaukee Flexhead 22. Just looks good on camera. The flank drive type teeth on it. They're really strong, really durable. They wrench really well. Again, very close to, well, snap on quality as far as wrenches. Friend of mine just was talking about Carlisle wrenches, how good they are, and he's not buying Snap-on anymore. He's going to Napa and buying the Carlisle stuff because they have the flank drive. Price to performance is 90% of the quality or something like that versus a tenth the cost. And that's one of the things the tool trucks have not kept up with. Let's use this ratchet as an example. <laughs> This is a Milwaukee flex set. Again, I said I use I'm using Milwaukee just because I have them handy and I can you know talk about them. But this Milwaukee flex set ratchet, you can buy two of them for the price of a snap on it. Best probably three at the cost of a snap on, uh, <laughs> and you can do that. Story I've told about ratchets is at the worst I owned seven. Craftsman regular raised panel ratchets because I broke them that often. Don't even get me started on the Husky ratchets. <laughs> those were junk too, but I didn't invest in a bunch of those. But I'd go, I forget I had a ratchet that was broke. I'd go to Craftsman. Sears was not near me, so it was always an excursion to go out and go to Sears across town when I was buying Craftsman tools. I'd be near there, I'm like, oh, let me swing by Sears, buy some tools, and I go, oh, I need a ratchet. Frick, I forgot to bring it. So I'd buy another ratchet, and then I'd break another ratchet, and eventually I, I bought Snap-on. But here's the thing. You can buy the Milwaukee ratchets, you can buy Gear Wrench, which are mechanically identical to Matco. They're not made at the same plant. They're not made in the same quality. 90% of the quality, at Tenth the price. Sockets. So many good options nowadays for impact sockets. Sunex, gray pneumatic. You can buy from Harbor Freight's Icon line. Most of these tools I'm talking about are generally made in the same plant to usually about the same quality standard. The gear wrench wrenches are made at the same plant that the Capri wrenches are made. You have brands like Capri, Tecton. I, some people don't like Tecton, but they make some really good tools. You've got alternate brands like Ghidorah. You have options like Koken, Hazet. Yes, warranty may be online, 
but a lot of them make the warranty process really easy. Send it in, boom, get a new one back. Sometimes you just take a picture and they send you one. Lots of good ways to buy tools besides the tool truck. As you know, the economy continues to go the way it's going, it's a good time to look at alternates beside the tool truck. You know, if you can buy a wrench set for $80 compared to what, $400 to $500 on the Snap-on truck, quality isn't that far off. I mean, we're not even going to get into, you know, power tools. <laughs> I've gotten into many times about my dislike of Snap-on electronics as far as tools, and we know that you know, only some of their air tools are really that good. Air hammer, air ratchets, everything else is kind of meh. My opinion, but I'll choose Milwaukee every day of the week over Snap-on. Let's talk about what the tool trucks have left to keep our business. They have warranty, easy, hand it to them, get a new one, warranty, and you can make interest-free payments as long as it's a truck account. That's all they have left. You know, back in the day, Special tools, that was a hallmark of the tool trucks. You needed a OTC special tool, you bought it on the tool truck because that was the only way to buy it. The automotive supplier network system was very different than it is nowadays. Like you, nowadays you can log in, get a password with a you know Volkswagen, Audi, GM special tools and order a special tool. Back then it was very different. It was you had to find who to call and hope they would actually sell it to you because sometimes the agents didn't want to deal with it and wouldn't. They were supposed to, but they didn't always do it. So really the tool trucks are down to a finance warranty company. And do you really want to spend that extra money with a warranty company? It's up to you, but honestly, with the quality of tools they are nowadays, there's so many great options that you can just never walk on a tool truck again. Pick on my boy Matco, you know, everything on the truck except the toolboxes is rebranded. A lot of the part, they just are. Now they have good sockets, good ratchets that are made in the USA. Their impact swivel sockets I think are the best, but you, you can buy 90% of the quality for a tenth the cost somewhere else. So just food for thought. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.